It's red eye. It's like lost, but without all that sand. I don't know. I'm running out of those things. Hey, we're with Rachel Marston, Bill Schultz. You're a jerk. <laughs> On remote, we have the creator of Class Radio and the host of it, uh, Doug Giles. How are you? What's going on, man? You look very tan. How are you? You look very yeah, tan. Yeah, no, it's a uh, melanoma festival coming up. I'm getting prepared. You look yeah, great. The, the weather must be great up there. It looks like a glazed ham. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. And in L.A., we have... I live outside. <laughs> <laughs> You're homeless. And in L.A., we have Francis Collier and Angela Shelton, otherwise known as Frangela, the comedy duo often seen on MTV's Best Week Ever. Good to see both of you. Hi. Hi. You're so adorable. <laughs> Did I say VH? I said VH1, didn't I? Yep. Yes. Okay, yeah. thank you. I That's said adorable. MTV, actually. <laughs> no. I always screw up, but I don't screw up when I say Katrina Zisch's name. Oh, you're so good. Entertainment reporter, <laughs> glad to have you here. I want to talk about Jared. Jared from Subway. I love this story. It was reported on VH1's Best Week Ever, so it has to be true, allegedly. But anyway, apparently, before he lost all that weight eating Subway sandwiches, apparently he sold porn while he was in college. He would charge everybody like $1 per rental, uh, which is actually kind and of affordable. What? what? I knew something was wrong with that guy. I don't know about you, but I would not want to hold or buy or touch those pants at all. <laughs> so you mean before he was eating footlong salami subs, he was yeah, eating yeah. them? Uh -huh. Is that it? Uh, uh, extra mayo. Yeah, I knew that somebody was going to make that condiment joke. But I, you know, that, the thing is, the thing is, um, he said his porn collection is vast and extensive. Right. I'm not surprised. Yeah, he looks like somebody. We aren't right? either. He definitely does. Yeah. Francis, do no, you that think? seems right. Do you know people with vast and extensive supplies of <laughs> pornography. Well, he was a lonely man. Right. You know, There's only so much a sandwich can do for your social life. That's right. That's true. You know, you can't be depends that demanding. I was going to say, it depends, yeah. yeah. Who advertises Meatballs. their porn collection? Mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's true. But, you know, he looked like he breathed porn. It's like it just came what? out of his body. What about, what about him made you think that? Just, uh, just because of his look. I could just see it. Is he too he, nerdy looking? No, he, he just he, so he looked, he looked like he breathed porn. Like, yeah, much like yeah. Bill does. <laughs> Breathes it's behind the it eyes, Greg. <laughs> but you know the thing is, this uh, Subway has not come out and verified this. They had no comment, and he hasn't said anything. So for all we know, this could be absolutely false. But Frangella did come from VH1, so right. what would you think? It's, there's just no way it's not true. That's right. <laughs> that's, the best we is basically the holy grail of journalism. Yes, all tabloid is, is, is true. That's, Absolutely. that's the only place we get our news. Mm. All right. Especially if Red Eye backs it up. That's yes, the, that's, that's true. Exactly. Now that it's on TV, it's got to be true. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Newcastle, uh, Australia? Not England, but Australia. That's a little twist. They're trying to ban, in a town, trying to ban shots and what's called bombs of alcohol because they believe it makes people violent from drinking too much, which is kind of an ob obvious effect of drinking. My favorite part of this, though, is one of the uh, experts involved in this says that people should be drinking for taste rather than effect. Doug, has anybody ever drank for taste? Uh, heck no, man. It's all for effect. <laughs> exactly. If you want to drink for you, if you want to drink for taste, you know, you drink juicy juice, Kool-Aid, exactly. uh, exactly. uh, green tea. Exactly. Everybody drinks tequila yeah, but, for taste. But especially, we're talking about Australia here. I mean, yes. these are some of the biggest boozers in the world. They can hold their alcohol. Yeah. I mean, and they're already yeah, the Aussies violent. are Look supposed to party. party. Yes. Why no, I, alcohol is not the problem here? But why are they discriminating against tequila and vodka or whatever these they're bombs and are shots? I like the bombs. Why not beer? Nobody could ever ban beer. Maybe real bombs, but not. Yes, let's, we let's think that they're missing a real problem here, too, with this legislation here. Because Australia, if they enact this, mm -hmm. they're going to really cut down on their birth rates. Yes, yes it's because true. I believe that these shots play an important part in the population growth. That's yes. true. And besides, it's hard to have sex with a wallaby if you're sober. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Speak for yourself. Unless you bring flowers. If I have too much, I can't get it up for the wallaby. <laughs> well, in Australia, owns this network. That's really smart. Doubt yourself, Bill. <laughs> I hate people who do shots. I just yeah. hate it. I, I, li I mean, I like to drink, but people who do shots just irritate me because they force you to do shots. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Here's a Jaegermeister for you, They're usually going to stick a pool cue in your Do it, your man. Do it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, all right. Moving on to another interesting fellow, Mr. Rush Limbaugh. Um, in Baltimore, a large billboard featuring his air times and a big picture of his face has been defaced by a, what looks like to be a lot of paint. Robert Murrow, the spokesman for the city's Department of Public Works, saw it and said, it looks great. 
It did my heart good. Essentially, what he did, Katrina, is he endorsed vandalism. Do you think he, he would have done that if it was somebody perhaps more in line with his political ideology? Uh, no, I think he thought he was being really cool by being like, yeah, go vandalism, but mm. go deface Rush Limbaugh. But it actually looks a little bit Jackson Pollock-esque, so it's actually yeah. sort of artistic. Maybe it is art. Uh, no, go it's ahead. a Probably liberal not. just trying to make an argument, you guys. You know, offer a little encouragement here. That's not vandalism. That's them trying to make a logical point. Mm. That's how they do yeah. it, generally. I think it actually does Jackson look pretty Pollock cool. Jackson Pollock beard. He should take that and hang it on his wall. Yes. Frangel, do, do you think that the man who said that it, it did his heart good, should he be fired since he works for the city and he endorses vandalism? You know, I know they have to come out and be like, you know what? You're against crime. Yeah, my role was <laughs> wrong. You know, but everything. But everybody at home was like, oh, that is my hero. You know what? And I'm like, Rush was probably high anyway. He yeah. wouldn't have noticed the bill. Well, we didn't tell him. <laughs> you know, he's off, he's off the Oxycontin. Now he's just yeah. he's high on life. He's right, high on we life. All are. Paint That's fumes. the thing, allegedly. What? Paint fumes. <laughs> paint fumes. He's now high on paint fumes. Yeah. It's no. mail time. The address is at redeye at foxnews.com. Send me something to read, and I will do my best to read it, although I'm not a good reader. Lori from Greenville, South Carolina, leads things off. Red Eye, it's like Tom Sizemore without the drugs and hookers. Oh, wait, it's just like Tom Sizemore. That's nice. Jason Bronson checks in. My girlfriend and I have been watching since you debuted, and the show has come a long way. Initially, it was like the proverbial train wreck, but as you began to gel, it's turned into a very entertaining and often very funny TV news experience. What a nice review. This has no name in town, but I'm reading it regardless. I'm not sure what is more nauseating, the horrible shaky cameras or the content of the show. It's about equal. Come on, a repeat of Studio B would be much more beneficial and save a lot of headaches. Maybe so. Bill from Plano, Texas, right? Plano. Okay, it's Plano, for Christ's sake. Certainly. I, I, I came across your promo while watching Fox News one day, and I thought, wow, what a stupid show. Now, I'm so addicted to your show, I don't get that much sleep anymore. And finally, Mike Cancilla from Albany, California, writes, I watch the show as much as I can. Is Greg drunk most of the time? Perhaps. Andrew rules, and so do the shots of the leggy broad. <laughs> That's Bill, by the way, right? Anyway, <laughs> coming up tomorrow, it's our Mother's Day salute to Red Eye's senior correspondent. Yes, our San Francisco Bureau spent a day with my mother and lived to tell about it. We'll profile this fine, fine woman. Also, Mike Baker is back. And what's a Mother's Day without the girls from the Bunny Ranch? I don't know. Well, they'll be here as well.